Is neuromorphic computing the future of AI? To answer that, we first have to talk about a major problem. For decades, Moore's law has been our guiding star, with transistors on silicon chips getting smaller and faster. But we've hit a wall. As transistors approach the size of atoms, we're facing unsustainable energy consumption and a problem called the von Neumann bottleneck. This is where processors spend more time waiting for data to travel from the memory than they do actually computing. So, what's the alternative? Enter photonic computing. Instead of using electrons, this approach uses photons, particles of light, to process information. The advantages are obvious. Photons travel at the speed of light, offering insane speeds and massive bandwidth. In fact, you're already using it. The fiber optic cables that form the backbone of the internet are photonic, and because photons don't generate heat like electrons, these systems are potentially thousands of times more energy efficient. It sounds perfect, right? A computer that's faster, has more bandwidth, and uses less power. But there's one colossal catch, memory. Light is a medium of transit, not stasis. It's fundamentally difficult to store information using photons. This forces current hybrid systems into a constant, inefficient cycle of converting optical signals to electronic ones for storage, and then back again. This OEO conversion creates latency and power overhead that negates many of the advantages of using light in the first place. So, how do we solve the problem of storing light? The answer might not be in a new material, but in a new architecture, one inspired by the most efficient computer we know, the human brain. Your brain runs on just 20 watts of power, yet it performs computations equivalent to a 20 megawatt supercomputer. That's a million-fold difference in power consumption. How? The brain doesn't have a separate processor and memory. The processing and memory are fused together at the synaptic level. There is no von Neumann bottleneck. This is the core idea behind neuromorphic photonics. It's a field that aims to emulate the brain's architecture using light. Instead of trying to create a photonic version of electronic RAM, researchers are building optical components that act like the brain's synapses. They're using advanced phase change materials to create what are essentially photonic synapses. These devices can store information by changing their physical state and process information by modulating the light that passes through them. This is called in-memory computing. The memory and the processor are one and the same. This completely dissolves the optical to electronic bottleneck because data doesn't need to be shuffled back and forth. The computation happens right where the memory resides. And here's the brilliant part. The very properties of light that make it bad for traditional static memory become huge assets in this dynamic brain-like architecture. The non-interactive nature of photons, once a barrier, allows for massive parallelism using techniques like wavelength division multiplexing, where a single pathway can carry countless streams of data at once. Now this isn't science fiction, but it's not on your desk yet either. Major challenges remain, especially in scalability and implementing certain neural network functions in a purely optical way. But by reframing the problem from, how do we store light? to how do we compute where memory is stored. It might just be the architectural leap needed to bypass our current limitations of artificial intelligence. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.